Hi everybody, my name is Katherine Finnerty and I'm a graduate student here at Lindenwood University. And with me today is Dr. Marzano and Dr. Pelaschetti. Um, they're here to talk about the MBA program um, and what that entails. So let's just go ahead and get right into it. Um, why is it beneficial to enter the MBA program and what, what kind of extra knowledge does that give you? Well, there's, there's two dimensions really. Um, for those students who have uh, not a business undergrad like engineering or nursing, the MBA program is going to provide them the business fundamentals that you'll need uh, to climb the corporate ladder, so to speak. You'll learn about financial accounting, marketing, uh, management in general. So I think for, for the crowd that uh, hasn't had the exposure to formal business coursework, mm -hmm. the MBA provides that good foundation. Uh, but you'll find that a lot of uh, students here are working professionals and they've actually had business degrees. And I always like to emphasize that Lindenwood's MBA is a little bit different than a lot out there because we offer a, a, a robust set of emphasis areas. So the student can do a deep dive in finance or marketing or supply chain. And uh, that can be a differentiator in the competitive job market. Uh, it can uh, put you at a competitive advantage uh, for a promotion at work. Mm -hmm. and, and even more importantly than that, it can enable a career change. I've had bankers that have wanted to go into supply chain and they end up at Boeing, for example. So th that emphasis dimension of the MBA, I think is really important and a differentiator for Lindenwood. Mm -hmm. Very, very cool. Um, as you mentioned, Lindenwood has a, we have a pretty good MBA program, one of the top in the area. Um, what do you think sets the, like our Lindenwood MBA from others, sets that apart? Well, it's a, it's a good value for one. Our tuition is very competitive, but uh, you'll find that our full-time faculty, a lot of them are experienced uh, in the corporate world. So you'll get a lot of, uh, you know, real life learning experiences married up with the, the traditional book work or theory in, in our subject matter. Uh, we have to do, as, as faculty, we have to do quite a bit of professional development to stay current in our topics. And so, and we also do use adjuncts as well, like most universities, to supplement our, our faculty and, and our our vast amount of courses that we offer and we're very particular about our adjunct faculty as well. Typically they're licensed and certified in those disciplines and a lot of them will have advanced degrees up to the doctorate level which we prefer. Very cool. I'm going to add a couple points yeah, too. Um, I, we are also, our business programs are also accredited mm -hmm. and that is sort of a stamp of approval from an external agency in terms of the quality of our programs and because we are um, because we have that accreditation it requires that we are constantly looking for ways to maintain uh, and update our programs so um, that's that is a good thing we're proud of having that accreditation so, I think it's a good credential for the program uh, so to me that's also a plus we also allow a lot of, or we have a lot of flexibility. A student um, can take courses online and on ground. Uh, we also have locations around the region uh, for students to take classes on ground. So all of our classes are eight weeks in the MBA program. So to me, it, it, there's just sort of a, an efficiency of getting through the courses, but also flexibility in terms of where, you, where and how you can take your courses mm -hmm. that um, are also a plus. Very cool. Very cool. Um, can you talk a little on the early access program that's offered to uh, like current business students here at Lindenwood um, and how that can benefit them? Sure. Um, that's actually a program that's available for any Lindenwood undergraduate for any graduate program on campus. Oh, okay. um, it allows them the ability in their senior year um, to take a couple of courses if they qualify, uh, a couple graduate courses towards their master's program. So um, a student has to meet certain GPA requirements to be admitted to that. 
but it allows them to pick up courses. They have to be, be a full-time student, so they have to take at least 12 hours, mm -hmm. but it allows them to take a course in the graduate program um, towards their master's. Whether they stay at Lindenwood, um, that's a plus, or if they move to another institution for their master's degree, those are courses that could be transferred. But it gives them a taste for what those graduate courses are, are like. Right. And, um, and it also, those are at no extra cost if they're, um, you know, they're sort of co uh, co collapsed into their tuition. So a person could take up to three courses before they graduate uh, with their undergraduate degree. Uh, three graduate courses so that's, it's a real it's a nice little streamline into um, the MBA program certainly that's awesome so idea you could potentially finish your graduate degree earlier because of those three classes correct and we recently revised our MBA program to make it a little bit more streamlined in terms of the number of hours that are required so we're now at 33 hours we also made it a little bit more flexible in terms of the number of electives that a student could take so um, now with those changes, a person could come in with you know, nine of those 33 already completed. Mm -hmm. Now, if they do need prerequisites for the program because they don't have a business undergraduate, those are courses that they could finish this way through the early access. So, um, so it's a plus. It's a, it was really a way to get students to consider doing a master's degree. Um, most think about this, maybe not immediately, <laughs> mm -hmm. but while they're a senior, but it is something they might want to pursue later, and yeah. to, to, it gets them a head start, Certainly. Uh, and it gets those things, those classes, a couple of classes under their belt before they um, they actually graduate. So um, it's a great program. Um, I've taught other universities that I had seen something quite set up like this, and I really feel like that's a good advantage. Mm -hmm. I would agree, definitely. Um, for my last question, I just both of you teach at the graduate level. Um, what are each of your favorite classes, and why? You want to go, go first? Sure. Well, there's there's two classes that I tend to teach every year. Mm -hmm. One of them is our core management course, and that's uh, a nice one because it's typically the first uh, taste of the management type courses that we we uh, handle in the program. So I'm getting a lot of. Uh, general it's general education for the general minded student mm -hmm. when you're kind of early in the program uh, more particularly i like to teach what what one of our courses in our supply chain program which is logistics management and and if you teach us more specialty course like that it's fun for me because typically these are the students where you know they're trying to specialize and a lot of them work in the field so you can do a lot deeper dive and, and there seems to be that good energy that's going on. So I get a little bit of both. I get you know the, the newbies that are in the core as well as the ones that have been through the core and really know where they want to try to aim their career. So. I kind of like, you know, the variety there. Right, very cool. So I primarily teach um, organizational behavior, which is an elective course for the MBA program, particularly for those students who want to do a management emphasis. Um, and I also, that course is also required for the Masters in, of Arts and Leadership, mm -hmm. which we also offer another master's program. Um, so far, that's what I find them primarily involved with. It's off, involved with. It's offered three times a year, um, but I'm now looking into you know, getting involved in some other elective courses, um, but I, I haven't yet taught the management uh, practices mm -hmm. course, but that would be another one that would be kind of up my alley. So so right now that's my favorite course, because but that's all I've done so far, so Very cool. yeah. Very cool. Thank you both so much for being here with me. I appreciate it so much. Yeah, no uh, problem. And talking about the MBA program. To all of you out there, take a look at Lindenwood's MBA program. Clearly we have very dedicated professors who want to make you professionally better. And um, just to end, it would be if any of you have any questions, and then we were, are more than happy to follow up with uh, with that. Perfect. Thank you.